are taking the time to have a conversation about coronavirus and the effects it's having on our lives. Whether you're in an area where there are known cases or not, you're seeing fallout in some part of your life. Education has been disrupted. Seniors had to spend time away from family. Workers changed the way they did their job. Such a huge shift in something most of us have never seen before. And that's why it's so important to look into the facts and not give in to fear. We have a team looking into all the different ways this is changing our society. And those changes extend to our criminal justice system. There are deep concerns that coronavirus could infect local jail populations. With close quarters and personal contact, sheriffs and correctional leaders worry the disease could spread like wildfire. 13 News Now reporter Evan Watson shares the effort to keep coronavirus out. Virginia Beach Sheriff Ken Stolley says a pandemic in the jail would be devastating. He says right now jail leaders are focused on coronavirus prevention first and everything else comes second. I can tell you, if coronavirus comes out of jail, I'm not going to be able to stop us from spreading. It's going to spread like wildfire in that jail. Even, even with the containment issues, it's just going to spread like wildfire. Sheriff Ken Stolley says this is a threat unlike any he's ever faced. I've never been this concerned in my life uh, about, about working conditions and, and what's going to happen in the jail. The Virginia Beach Sheriff's Office is automatically quarantining new inmates, monitoring them for any symptoms of coronavirus for two weeks. Others with illnesses are currently in isolation out of precaution. A deputy or civilian worker will go home and be exposed at their home and come bring it into the jail. And then we'll have to deal with it in the jail. And that's a, that's a situation I'm not looking forward to. But it's not just new inmates that could bring COVID-19 inside the jail's walls. If it comes into jail, people are going to die. Inmates are going to die. Jails and prisons across Virginia have canceled visitations, public access, and weekender programs. <laughs> my grandson is they're human they're, they're somebody's family there's somebody that's worried about their family members the close living quarters are a huge concern jail populations already have higher rates of chronic illness and disease hampton roads regional jail superintendent chris wall says jail staff is medically assessing both inmates and staff before they enter it's just not my grandson it's they're human they're, they're somebody's family VBSO is releasing nonviolent misdemeanor offenders on electronic monitoring to clear up space for potential quarantine situations. Stolly says he's taking every reasonable step to containment the sheriff's office can think of, but he says if coronavirus reaches the jail, it will be like hell. They're like in the same boat as what happens when it happens to them all. Local sheriffs tell me they're working to keep the number of new inmates as low as possible. In Virginia Beach, Evan Watson reporting. The impact has also reached the courtroom. The Supreme Court of Virginia declared a judicial emergency closing most courthouses for a few weeks. Some places have held emergency proceedings that just couldn't wait. But even in those cases, any jurors who showed signs of illness were excused. Dental offices are changing policies and procedures now because of the coronavirus. 13 News Now reporter Megan Chin spoke to one office within Virginia Beach. And Megan, they're on the front lines of this outbreak as well. Absolutely, and that's why they're saying if you're sick, stay home, don't come to the dentist. But if you have an emergency case, you can come here to the Folic Center. I know they're taking several steps to help prevent the spread of coronavirus. This parking lot is busy, but the lobby at the Folic Center Dental Office is empty. Receptionists sit alone answering the phone for patient check-ins while clients like Loretta Fran wait outside. I'm hoping that we go back to normal. It's a brief change in procedures to practice social distancing during the coronavirus outbreak. Those changes continue as people walk through the door. Everyone's temperature gets taken. Dr. Adam Folix says their coronavirus protocol goes a step further. We feel very comfortable with all of the protocols we've had in place. All appointments are canceled unless they're for an emergency. The doctor says it's part of how they're following American Dental Association guidelines. And maybe this is going to change how we do everything in life now. Now rows of dental hygienist chairs sit empty. Folick hired 75 people for his facilities, but he says he had to tell many employees to stay home. He says it's hard to do, but important for health safety reasons. Let's be honest, most people live pay to pay, every paycheck to paycheck. These cutbacks aren't just affecting him. Other dentist offices and small businesses are feeling the impact of the outbreak financially. Oh, tremendously. I mean, this is going to be a big hit for our practice. It's a temporary situation as the community works to combat COVID-19 with every small change.
And once the coronavirus outbreak is over, they expect to have a rush of people coming back here for routine appointments. Right now, they have a backlog of about three weeks. In Virginia Beach, Megan Shin, 13 News Now. While it won't help much with the dentist, telemedicine is a good option to handle other medical needs while keeping your distance. There are a few different ways of using your phone or computer to check in with your doctor, including texting, calling, or even video calling. It allows people in quarantine to get advice, and some doctors say the system has never really picked up steam until now. Doctors say 80% of diagnoses are made through talking with patients about their history. We want to be a resource for you during this time, and that's why we're asking you to text us. Send the word coronavirus to 757-628-6200. We'll send back a link to the section of our website that's dedicated to coronavirus. You can also text questions to that number and we'll work on finding the answers for you. It's time to deep clean to fight coronavirus, but are you hitting all the hot spots where germs could hide? Plus the facts around whether hand dryers really stop the virus. And another coronavirus question people are asking here, how can you protect yourself? The best advice, wash your hands, stay at least three feet away from someone who's coughing and don't touch your face. We'll talk about that one a little bit more in just a few minutes.